regarding creativity and AI, uh, I wonder, and it's a simple question, but it has many layers to it, but do you think that AI models can be creative? Well, what is creative, right? So, uh, I mean, creativity is uh, essentially something that has been assigned. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a human um, characteristic, right? Um, creativity. So, and there has been, well, throughout the literature, if you just try to look at it, I mean, what is creativity and how could we evaluate it in general without thinking about artificial intelligence? I mean, there's, there has been also so many discussions about what should we look at? Should we look at, like, the, the outcome of something and say, is this creative? Or should we look at uh, the process, how something is being done, if this is some kind of creative process? Or also, I mean, is the person who has done it a creative person or not? Or uh, even like, um, independent from these, also like the, the perspective from the outside, I mean, is, does this society regard something as creative or not? Right? So that whatever it is, it can be considered creative in the essence also. I mean, that's... That's also a position. So in, in, in that way, yes, um, artificial intelligence could be creative if society decides that, uh, yeah, this or that is, that is creative for some reason, then, yeah, why not? But, um, I mean, we start from something that, has, that is very essential to, or that is very... Um, specific to, to human and we put it into a, a computational context right so it's not the same probably then yeah and now this question it perhaps will be even bigger <laughs> which is uh, can you cr create something let's say art without mm -hmm. defining it well uh, you would Anyway, then you, that, uh, then you would need to, given any kind of process or outcome um, of something that may be considered creative, I mean, would you then always look at it and say, this is art or this is not art? I mean, that's not how it works, right? I mean, it's... If, if you look at uh, things like um, many decades ago, somebody put... Uh, a toilet into a museum and uh, right and uh, mm. claimed that uh, well this is art now and this was not really well received back then but it became a, a key uh, to, to, to think about what is art and probably in that process it became art right so I mean the, there is no way to to clearly say something is art or not right that's uh, yeah, and yeah, that is the thing that I quite often tend to think about is that uh, we are basically trying in many ways with AI models to create something that we don't have a definition for. Yeah. Uh, and this goes more now to the perceptions of people, but uh, Beethoven's 10th symphony was mm -hmm. completed a few years back by an AI model. No. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, not really. <laughs> in not uh, yeah. It wasn't necessarily perhaps the most. Uh, it wasn't w one of these current models. Definitely not. Uh, but a, a team tried to attempted to do it with some uh, machine learning systems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but from a societal perspective, do you think that people will one day be able to appreciate uh, AI art in the same manner that they appreciate human made art? Yes, sure. Um, I mean, for example, is the the new recording that is out now by the Beatles is that AI art now, or is it, what is it? Yeah, man, uh, that is uh, I would say cyborg maybe art, and it's uh, yeah. half uh, human, half uh, artist. Uh, but uh, I've tested it with a few people to. Uh, from time to time show them pictures or even compositions mm -hmm. uh, short compositions by AI uh, and so long as they don't know that it is 
and AI that has created it, they have a much greater appreciation for it. Yeah, yeah, that's a well-known thing to happen, yeah. Hmm? Do you think that society throughout the... And this is just a general question, but from your own uh, position, do you think that our perceptions to what art might be changing through the coming years? From well, I, I, if, I, if I would have brought my time machine with me, I could put <laughs> you in there and uh, put you back to the to the onset of the disco movement and I would ask you what do you think would be, will people at some point uh, be on a wide wide basis in popular music accepting be accepting these kind of drum machines right listen to today's <laughs> pop music I mean it's uh, it's um, these machines are uh, ubiquitous they're everywhere right so 